Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So, uh, a couple videos ago, I mentioned how I sold some of my fish to my local fish store. Um, but I didn't actually show you the process of what I do. So in this video, I actually want to go a little bit more into details of this whole process for those of you who want to sell fish to your local fish store. So these guppies on this left side of the tank is actually pretty dense with them. There's about, I'm going to guesstimate, about 20 to 30 in there. We'll actually have an actual count towards the end of the video when I actually bag them. So what I'm going to do is actually use a large net and fish them all out and put them into this bucket right here. There is a sponge filter in there, which I'm going to put in the bucket to keep the water aerated. And then all the fish in there are going to go into this bucket. Now, the process after that is I separate them. I find it easier to take them out in the bucket than it is in the tank to separate them. And then what I do is I separate about three to five fish depending on their size per bag and these are the breather bags I'm going to use uh, to take them to the fish store. So with the aeration in the bucket it keeps the fish from suffocating because there's gonna be a pretty good amount of I'm gonna say density or population in the bucket into a five gallon bucket. So it keeps the water aerated pretty well um, and then what I'll do is with a smaller net I'll start picking out individuals counting them out seeing how many they got how many we have um, if they're adults, juveniles, or fry, usually the fry I just either keep or donate, but at this point I think I'm just going to donate to them, donate them to him because I need the tank space, so I can't keep the fry in here to grow out. Um, I have some of the purple mosaics and some of the no-name dumble ears up there, which I think I'm going to call them dragon embers or something because their scales look very dragon-like, and then their tails look like little fire embers. So I have one there and another one on this side. And these guys are Dumbo Ear. And uh, I need the tank space for them. And then I also need some room for these guys over here for that little project. So this huge population in here has to go. Um, I might keep some based on their traits. So if I see any Dumbo Ears, like this female right here is Dumbo Ear. That's, there's also, uh, I believe, two sword tails in there. So I'll have to see if I have space for those. If not, They'll also be going. And then, yeah, uh, I'll bag those up, and I'll show you that process as well. But right now, I'm going to take out water out of this tank and fill up the bucket and start fishing the fish out, which is kind of a pain. I have to take that off so I can fit my hand in the tank. This is just holding that up. Take out the plant, move that plant. This I can't move, but that tube in the back has to go because the fish hide behind it. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we have the bucket set up with the sponge filter in there, some aeration going on. I already put in about five fry that were on the right side of the tank. And I also removed this breeder box that has some fish in it, just so I have more access room right here so I fit my hand in there better. Um, now I can pretty much clearly see how many fish are in there. Just really good amount. Um, so at first, Every time you put a net in there, you're going to get a net full of fish. Towards the end, when you have less and less, they start freaking out and they start to hide. And that's when it's going to get a little bit complicated because they're going to hide behind this and then right in this back section, which is going to make it slightly harder. So I did remove all the plants and everything, so now <clears throat> it's good to go. So I'm going to start fishing them out and then I'll show you what the bucket looks like when they're all in there. And then with a smaller net with this guy, I'll take out individuals as I check each of them to be bagged and see what I decide to keep. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. So I just want to show you guys, this is the first scoop or whatever net uh, full of fish I got. And you can see just one, one swipe through and this is how many I've just grabbed. So these guys are looking actually pretty nice. All right, so it took about almost an hour. About an hour or so to get these guys out. I was able to get about 90% of them within the first 15 minutes, but then there were a couple of ones that were really good at hiding. So this is the aftermath and how many I've collected. There's a large female right there the two albino females and then 
There's a sword tail male in there. Uh, don't know where he is. But he's going to stay. I see him right there. Oh, way at the bottom. So, yeah. Those guys is going to stay. And then I've selected the two Russian, the two black Russian males. And then what I believe is a superior red male back there. So those guys are going to stay. So there's four males in here. And then I kept these two males, which are the red cherries, uh, magenta cherry. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put that sword tail male in here as well. So now these guys usually get large fins, so I kept them together. And then the smaller fin ones will keep them in there so they don't pick on each other too much. Other well, than that, they seem pretty fine. These guys are still going to grow out. I want to select the females out to breed with uh, probably this male to get the Dumbo ear. The, this guy right here is actually the father of them, and then one of the superior red females is the mother. So now that means that they carry half the gene for Dumbo ear, so I want to breed him back with the red one this guy, who's also Dumbo Ear, to see what I get. And then eventually breed them with that. And my goal, end goal, is to get the smaller tails, like these guys have, with larger Dumbo Ears, and then more color. That's just a goal, and it's just, just a small project. Um, the guys that are already in there are now in this side of the tank. I don't know where, but they're in there. And now, the next step with these guys is to put them in that cup that's right there on the desk. Right there and check one out at a time put the males into one bag females into another small fry into their own bag and separate them out so that's the next step and i'll show you the end product of that once i finish all right guys okay so i finally got all the fish bagged in their appropriate bags so i have a total of 49 so there's four adult males four adult females uh, one of these bags over here has 25 uh, fry between two and two weeks and a month old, and then the other one has um, some, ju some juvenile fish between the ages of one month to three months. So now, just got to toss these guys in a box, drive them to the local fish store, see what I get for them. Shouldn't be too much, but um, usually these kind of fish. The money that comes from them only goes to uh, feeding my other fish. So anytime I don't actually buy fish food, the money that comes from these guys go towards getting that fish food from store credit. So I'm going to head over there now. All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, that's how you go through the whole process of selling your fish. Uh, I know a lot of people ask, how do you make a profit off of them? The biggest thing is not really making a profit. Uh, you got to really like the hobby. If you're coming into it, expecting to make crazy money it's not always going to happen yeah you can you can get lucky but it's not going to always happen now the biggest thing is when i sell the fish it's to continue to expand the the youtube channel it's to expand my fish room if you've seen the videos from i believe sometime this month probably this week has been exactly one year since i've had the channel and if you look at what the channel and what the fish room technically fish room look like it has come a long way and that is thanks to you guys thanks to selling the fish to you guys and also to my local fish store now I've mentioned in my last video how to make not my last video but probably a year ago um, in the series how to make money off your fish um, that the majority of these fish are fed for free now you start off with with one strain and you keep going and keep improving getting better fish like some of these right now if I want to go buy uh, the purple mosaics they'd be about forty dollars a pair um, so the first fish I had I bought them for five dollars a pair at my local fish store and sold those and kept going until I got better and better strains uh, until I was able to buy the larger tank until I was able to get these smaller tanks and you just keep improving so now I still have I believe uh, Joe told me that I had, I think I left like $170 in store credit, um, and that goes to fish food, so that's my frozen brine shrimp, my frozen blood worms, it goes to, well I don't buy pellets because I get those from Hikari through our sponsorship, um, so all these fish are being fed for free, the only thing I pay for is the water and the light, really, and that's about it, um, 
So yeah, that's the whole process. So if you guys have any questions, drop in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it, what was in this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome and hit the subscribe key. I know there's been some weird glitch with YouTube lately where a video is uploaded and it doesn't show up on your stream. So make sure you hit the little bell because that way you get a notification that a video was uploaded. And thumbs up the video. If you liked it, let's see if we can get to 100 likes. Let's see if we could do that. And drop a comment below of what you think of this series. If you have any questions, drop it below. Maybe someone else has some input. I've seen what I think is awesome. I've seen people actually responding to other people's comments and answering and helping each other. And that's what I want. I want to see a community because that's awesome. All right, guys. So thanks for watching Home Aquatics, and I'll see you guys next time.